Hello there guys and welcome to your first look at the Rust update on the 3rd of August 2017. Now today is a forced wipe and we have got a lot in store. Learnable recoil has been added today on the LR300 and the MP5 along with a 90% aim cone reduction. This means that we'll be paving our way forward with a new gun system. Hopefully we will be seeing this continued on with other weapons next week. Procgen has also had a lot of love this week with the return of icebergs. As you can see you can still build up onto them with ladders and you can build on top of them. We've also had a lot of love to the mountain biome. It will now generate a map and then decide where to place the mountain biome once the map is generated. We've also had some changes to the rocks around the map and the grass is now shorter. Dungeon Art has also had some work over the past month and this has now been added in. The launch site looks a lot better with some stuff actually going on within the offices. We've also got ourselves some brand new looking nodes. And the ore minigame with nodes has been tweaked slightly. The visuals and hotspots have been changed and the yields are now lower with lower tier tools. We've also got an update with the survey minigame as they are calling it. When you place down a survey charge now it will show you the resources from deep mining which is what you'll get from a quarry along with surface mining which means that you can now mine the little crater. Along with this, there's also been a buff to quarries, which means now that stone yield will be four times what it previously was. And you'll only be able to find high quality metal in the arctic biome, sulfur in the arid slash desert biome, and metal in the temperate slash forest biome. We've also now got achievements added into the game. There are currently six, and you'll only be able to earn these on official servers. The artificial intelligence branch has also had some more work done to it, mostly around Navmesh, which is still paving the way towards us getting the scientist NPCs and the Bradley APC within the game. And 32-bit Windows is no longer supported by Rust, so sadly if you are running 32-bit, you will need to upgrade to 64-bit as soon as you can if you want to continue playing. And then the last thing I have for you guys is we have some more updated item descriptions. So that is everything I have for you this week in terms of the update. Though I also have a little giveaway going on at the moment. I'm giving away a copy of Player Unknown Battlegrounds, which was given to me by a very good friend. She's seen that I'd reached 4K subscribers, so she gave me the key to give away to you guys. So if you would like to get involved with that, I will leave the Gleam link down in the description. If you have enjoyed guys make sure that you hit that like button and if you would like to see more content make sure that you are subscribed. Thank you very much guys, have a good day.